What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to repair your master boot record which is your MBR if it has an infection on it or maybe it's a case it's got corrupted now it also may be the case that you can't boot up windows and you're stuck okay and the MBR is broken and you need to fix it and of course the worst case scenario is some people don't even have a window CD which then causes a few more problems so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to rewrite the master boot record with Hiram's boot CD. So let's get started here. So as you can see here, I've got a Windows 7 operating system. You can do this with Windows XP and Windows Vista with Hiram's. And I'll quickly show you that we've got a, a corrupted master boot record with an infection on there. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly uh, scan for this and just show you. Uh, let's just put the ticks in here. My mouse is playing up, there we go. And then we're going to quickly run a scan and I'll show you that the actual master boot record is in fact infected and we need to remove it. Now assuming you can't get on your desktop like I can here, uh, this is a good method to actually rewrite the master boot record if you haven't got a CD. So let's uh, let this finish its scan. And there you can see uh, rootkit and it's on the system okay you can see there it's been changed now I'm not going to cure it I'm going to skip it okay because I want to use the actual Hiram Spootsy to do this because I'm assuming that you can't boot to Windows okay um, you may have other rootkits so let's reboot the system okay so as you can see here I'm using Hiram's boot CD 15.2 so I'm going to go into mini XP we'll just let this load in okay you can see that's now loaded in what we want to do here is we want to go to the HBCD menu and uh, there's one down in the right hand corner here you can click on this and what we want to do here is we want to come up to where it says partition boot MBR and then we want to come across to where it says command line and then come back over to the right and hit MBR fix okay and this is not the only way I've done it it's just one way so I'm going to close this window off and you can see now we have got our MBR fix tool open on our system so what we're going to do here is do a command that's going to fix our Windows 7 master boot record so we're going to type MBR and also fix and then forward slash drive space zero and then fix MBR and then space forward slash win seven and then forward slash yes now if you don't want to be prompted to rewrite your master boot record then you can do forward slash yes but if you don't want to be prompted then you can take the forward slash yes off if you wish but to be honest that's the, the actual command you're going to need to do what you need to do now if you was doing in Windows Vista obviously where it says forward slash win 7 I'll put the command on the screen as you can see now that is for Windows Vista and also for Windows XP you'll see the command for Windows XP that's on the screen right now so let's push enter here and that is it our master boot record has now been rewritten and we can exit out of this okay so we can either type exit and we're going to restart our system so let me just click on restart and remove the actual CD okay we're just going to let this boot up and we're now back at our desktop and we can do a quick scan with uh, TDSS Killer just to make sure that that has been removed. Now obviously if you was at the desktop you could use TDSS Killer to maybe remove that it's for you um, but we're assuming that you couldn't get to the desktop. So let's have a look here and we're going to put the ticks back in this and click OK and then click Start.
and there you go it's all fixed and it's now been removed now this is a great way of fixing the master boot record on any windows operating system and also if you haven't got a windows cd to hand okay and it may be a case that is either just corrupted and you might not have any viruses at all it may be corrupted or it may be the case that you have got some sort of rootkit and that's how you can quickly easily fix your pc yourself okay so okay i hope this helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos when i upload them and i shall see you again in the next video so thanks again for watching and thanks for your support bye for now